Hello everyone, and in today's video, let's take a look at two gimbals that are compatible with GoPro. So, we're gonna compare Hohem ICD Pro 4 with Inky Falcon Plus. So, in this video, we're gonna focus on the features, overall build quality, design, stabilization, etc. And finally, we're gonna try to answer the question, which one of them gonna be simply better for you and save you up some money in the process. So, both of these gimbals are compatible with a variety of action cameras, such as GoPro, Insta360, DJI Action, and they all offer 3-axis stabilization to your camera. However, they have a different mounting system. For example, Hohem iSteady Pro 4 uses a quick-release mounting system that takes literally just a couple of seconds to mount your camera in and out. It's fast and easy, and the gimbal doesn't have to be calibrated to use it with the camera. On the other hand, Falcon Plus uses a traditional GoPro mount, where you screw the camera to it. It's definitely more secure option as the camera won't fall out. However, this gimbal needs to be calibrated before you can use it for the first time. And every time you use a new camera with it, you have to adjust it again. It may take up some time before we can set it up, but it's only a problem in the beginning. iSteady Pro 4 mounting clip snaps around the camera and it's already almost a perfect fit with the naked camera itself, which means that you cannot use it with a media mode, silicon sleeve, etc. On the other hand, Falcon Plus lets you use your camera with GoPro media mode and light mode. Now, let's take a closer look at the back of the LCD screen on the camera iSteady Pro 4 blocks some of that screen with its mounting design. It doesn't interfere with navigation unless you have some bigger fingers, then you may feel like you have some less space there. Inky Falcon, on the other hand, doesn't block the screen at all and you have a clear access to it. It's also worth to mention that on the side of it, iSteady Pro 4 has a screw hole, so you can mount a phone adapter to it or some other accessory. With the phone, you can have much bigger preview of your recording and you can adjust the angle of it, so it's really nice. Now, let's take a look at the stabilization for a moment and see how well they perform. Both of these gimbals need basic hypersmooth to deliver rock steady results. Unfortunately, without the in camera stabilization, your footage gonna be still shaky. So, for best silky smooth video and cinematic results, you have to use it with the in camera stabilization to get the best out of it. 
Now, let's take a closer look at the control panel and operating modes. So, both of them have the joystick, mode button, power button and some LED slides. However, Hohem ICD Pro 4 has a roll axis adjustment if you need it to quickly correct your horizon. The horizon on this thing is quite often unleveled and in such scenario you have to adjust it yourself. Inky Falcon doesn't have it, but since you balance this gimbal correctly, it's not a problem at all. Both of these gimbals have standard modes such as panning, tilting, FPV modes and all axis lock. Hohem's inception mode can rotate up to 600 degrees, however at some point it's simply gonna stop rotating as it's gonna reach its limit. On the other hand, Falcon Plus has unlimited rotation on a pan axis, so you have more creative control and it's simply easier to do. Additionally, Falcon Plus has a portrait mode, which can be used for recording videos or taking photos for social media in a vertical orientation. Unfortunately, this feature isn't supported on the iSTD Pro 4 at all. Both of them can wirelessly control the camera so you can change between different modes and start or stop the recording without touching the camera itself. From the front of the handle, we have a trigger button and things get here a little bit more interesting as Hohem has two main functions. A sport mode, making the gimbal more faster and responsive to your actions. And a double tap resets the gimbal and the camera gonna return to its original orientation. In comparison, Inky has three functions. If you click and hold it, the camera gonna stay in one place and three axes gonna remain locked. If you double click on that, it's gonna reset the entire gimbal and the camera gonna return to its original orientation. And if you press on it three times, the camera gonna turn 180 degrees facing you so you can vlog to it. This feature isn't supported on the iSteady Pro 4 though. Lastly, I think it's worth to mention that iSteady Pro 4 offers a motion time-lapse feature where the camera gonna move on its own from one location to another using keyframes recording a time-lapse. So, if you love time-lapses, this feature can be really amazing. Unfortunately, Inky Falcon doesn't have it and can only be used for regular time-lapse. But isn't it better to just use a tripod for it? iSteady Pro 4 is also splash proof. If you take a closer look at the handle on the side, notice that all the parts are covered with the seal. It's gonna protect your gimbal from a light drizzle or humidity, etc. However, it's not waterproof. Whereas Inky Falcon has the charging port completely exposed, there is no seal to protect it from dirt moisture or humidity, so you have to be just extra careful. Now, let's talk about the battery life for a moment. iSteady Pro 4 offers up to 14 hours of battery life. This thing just lasts forever on a single charge. Additionally, you can use it as a power bank to charge your camera or your phone, which really comes in handy when you travel. On the other hand, Falcon Plus has a battery life that should last around 9 hours. You can really feel the difference as you have to charge it more often. What's more, if you have Falcon Plus version, it can be used to charge your camera. However, it seems like you need to have GoPro Media Mode to be able to plug the cable in it. And that cable is not included in the package. In terms of the overall build quality, iSteady Pro 4 is all plastic and it has a slightly taller body, whereas Falcon Plus has a plastic handle and the stabilizer is made up with aluminum alloy. It just feels like better quality material. The whole body is also much shorter, 
but notice that if you grab it, there is barely enough space to hold on to with one hand and it feels like a bit too small. Since ICD Pro 4 is bigger, there is enough room for you to hold it with two hands if you want to. Both of these gimbals come with a tripod, so you can use it as an extra handle with Inky Falcon. Now, at the very bottom, both of them have quarter inch screw hole, so you can mount them on a selfie stick for that extra reach. Hohem ICD Pro 4 comes with a hard shirt travel case with a zipper and inside of it you can store the gimbal itself, the tripod and the charging cables, but it won't fit with your camera inside of it. Unfortunately, Inky Falcon comes with a soft pouch that's not gonna protect the gimbal that well during travel, it will protect it from some minor scratches, but that's about it. All right, so these are all the similarities and differences of these two gimbals. I will just add that Hohem ICD Pro 4 is slightly cheaper as it costs around $95, whereas Inky Falcon Plus is a bit more expensive as it costs $129. So if you want to have something more compact, maybe you are into inception mode and you like these portrait photos and videos, then Inky Falcon gonna be something for you especially if you already have a GoPro media mode and you want to vlog to the camera while charging it. However, if you want to have quick mounting system, motion time-lapse feature and 14 hours of battery life that can be used to charge your camera while recording, then it seems like Hohem iSteady Pro 4 seems like a better deal. Honestly, I really regret that none of these gimbals can offer you such good stabilization that you wouldn't have to rely on GoPro Hypersmooth to get the best results. Personally, for me, that would be a game changer. So, which one of them do you like more? Which one have better features? Let me know about it in the comment section below. And if you'd like to know some more about these two gimbals in details, then take a look at these two videos. It would be really awesome if you could give this video a thumb up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't before. This way you help me grow so more people can see my content. Thank you so much for watching guys and see you in the next one.